Okay, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a design on the shoulder area. So I took a picture of uh, my arm. I know it's huge. Uh, just kidding. Uh, it's for a design for a client. Uh, so he wants a gladiator team. But his reference was not that good. So I'm gonna show you how to do a gladiator uh, photoshopping or well, this is Procreate. Uh, so we're just gonna mix a few images and uh, we're gonna do the same. Okay, so first I go on Pinterest. I usually just go on gladiator, like if that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I like this one. So I already saved it, so I'm not gonna do it, but if you wanna save it, just go on download image, I right? downloads. And for the helmet, there are a few options. Uh, I think I chose one like this. I think it was this one. Yeah, so you download these two. Then you go to your Procreate, you paste the images, you go to add, insert a photo, you choose the picture here. Okay. I like to put this, uh, the picture on top, this one, and just put multiply. Then this uh, on the under layer, I just go on saturation. Oh, saturation. Yeah, I'll play with this. So. Oh, that's me okay so i put the image multiply it kind of size it where i think it's gonna look the best that's the other image i chose crop it i know you play with it a little bit mm, then i didn't like it uh, that's kind of better uh, play around a little bit yeah um, yeah so pretty basic but I'm sure it's gonna look really really nice once it's done then what you have to do oh where is this Okay, so how you do the stencil? Well, there are two ways for me. Usually, this is the first one. So once I have it like this, I just save it. Uh, go to, go here, no, share. Then, yeah, you save it, save image. my sketch or any type of app that can do like a photocopy you can do this in photoshop too but i think this works really good for me yeah probably like this i mean this area doesn't show up but it's okay mm, maybe like this so you can see better photocopy that's it Perfect, beautiful, safe, hundred uh, percent. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> then add uh, 
it's her picture. Oh, oh. Okay, it's her picture, albums. What, what happened? Just save. Okay, your image is saved. Come on. Okay, that's it. So that's pretty much the stencil. That's the way number one. Okay, so way number two, numero dos. Uh, okay, so the number two takes time to do it. But to me, it's probably one of the best ones. When you do this in a thermal machine, it's so easy. Uh, and you kind of like redo. It's like uh, understanding your reference, your reference a little bit better. So what you want to do is trace it. You're just going to trace it. So this takes a while. So you're gonna trace it, and for the the most important is you need to save the highlights. Highlights, it's key, is what makes your tattoo look like wow. Like this is open skin, even white sometimes. So this is what you wanna do, okay? Take your time, grab a cup of tea, grab a coffee, whatever. Probably do it a day before if you can, or do it on the spot, it's up to you. But just take your time with it, don't rush. It's gonna make, it's gonna make it so easy for you once you tattoo it. So basically, just this is, uh, step number two or the second option to make a stencil and at the end you can choose the which one you like more